I was going to do a video talking about this PMV and its process, but honestly, at this point, I don't really remember much. So instead, I thought I'd do a brief overview on Briar and save the process video for a future PMV. A quick disclaimer that this video may contain flashing images and colors, as well as mentions of cat violence, death, and abandonment. Briar was a character that I created as an element of Scarlet Flame's backstory. I'll probably do a video talking about Scarlet Flame as well, but since Briar ties in so much with her backstory, I decided it was best to do hers first. Briar Kit, Shard Kit, and Scarlet Kit were born in Fern Clan. Their mother died shortly after they were born. Their father, Harefoot, distanced himself from them as much as possible as he contemplated his life choices. Briarpaw and Shardpaw were apprenticed under Yellowtail and Needlestrike, two rival siblings of the clan, while Scarletpaw chose to become a medicine cat apprentice. Because of Yellowtail and Needlestrike's rivalry, Briarpaw and Shardpaw were often pitted against each other in ridiculous competitions. They started to develop their own sort of sibling rivalry, much to the concern of Scarletpaw. During a battle against a rival clan, Harefoot is killed. Yellowtail convinces Briarpaw that Needlestrike was responsible, as he wanted to become deputy of the clan. At the next battle, Yellowtail orders Briarpaw to take out Needlestrike, but as Briarpaw aims the final blow, Shardpaw races up to defend his mentor and is killed instead. Overwhelmed with guilt and scared of what Yellowtail and Needlestrike would do to her, Briarpaw flees the clan. Briar becomes a rogue, surviving through trickery, deception, and lies. She stays constantly on the move, eventually coming to a rogue group led by the greatly feared leader, Slash. Briar works her way through the ranks, earning Slash's trust, and soon becomes his mate. But she knows she cannot stay, not wanting to live a life of cruelty. Her plans of escape become complicated when she finds she is carrying Slash's kits. Not wanting them to be raised in the way Slash has planned, she sneaks off one night, attempting to get as far away as possible. Slash quickly realizes she is missing and pursues, but Briar cannot continue running. She collapses at the base of a tree to have her kits, two she-cats, and two toms. She names her sons Peak and Shard, Shard being named after her brother Shardpaw, and her daughters Tangle and Fern, Fern being named after her mother Willowfern. It doesn't take long for Slash and his rogues to find her, and Briar quickly realizes that she cannot save all four of her kids' lives as well as her own. With a heartbroken goodbye, she selects Shard from the litter and flees, resisting the urge to look back and knowing that she would forever regret leaving those kids to die at the claws of Slash. Though she tries to outrun them, she soon grows disoriented in the alleyways of Tulig Place. The rogues catch up, taking Shard from her as well before letting her go free, feeling satisfied with her punishment. Some time passes, and Briar is eventually contacted by Yellowtail, who, after a failed attempt at taking out Needlestrike, now resides in the Dark Forest. Yellowtail informs Briar that one of her kits is still alive, and promises to reveal the location if Briar will finish the task she failed all those moons ago. Briar accepts, hoping to settle the score with Needlestrike, now Needlestar. In her mind, she had convinced herself that he was somehow responsible for what happened to Shardpaw. So Briar returns to Fern Clan, taking advantage of the deputy's trust and earning herself a place to stay for the time being. Scarlet Flame coldly offers her prey, ordering her to stay in the medicine den while she is treated for malnourishment. While there, Briar notices a battle-scarred apprentice recovering from his wounds. He informs her that he is Snakepaw, Scarlet Flame's son, and his battle wounds came from Yellowtail when he tried breaking from the Dark Forest. Briar mentions that she knows of Yellowtail's cruelty, claiming that she had been training in the Dark Forest around the same time as Snakepaw, and had seen the young apprentice's potential for herself. She then makes an effort to comfort Snakepaw, seeing him as the son she was never able to save. She is determined to befriend the young apprentice, not only because of his battle skills and rivalry against Needlestar, but for her own temporary comfort as well. When the opportunity presents itself, Briar instigates a fight between herself and the leader. When Snakepaw arrives at the scene, she pretends that Needlestar has the upper hand and convinces Snakepaw that he attacked her without reason. Snakepaw rushes to defend Briar, but soon falls victim to Needlestar's cruelly superior battle moves. Knowing that she cannot win this fight, Briar sulks off while the leader is distracted. Briar goes to a nearby rogue group to speak with their leader, hoping to get assistance. While there, she manages to spot a familiar mottled she-cat with a crippled leg, recognizing her as Tangle, now renamed to Fierce. 
Her attempts to negotiate with the leader fail. However, a cat named Cockroach plants the idea in her head that if she brings an offering, the rogue leader would return her daughter to her. Growing desperate and still weakened by the events of the earlier battle, Briar accepts the chance at a quick and easy task. She tracks Rosepaw's scent to the river and waits in some bushes for the apprentice to head back towards the camp. Before long, she hears Rosepaw's thrumming paw steps and, without hesitation, leaps from her hiding place to dispatch the apprentice. Blinded by the haunting memories of her past, she barely notices the deed she has just committed. But Snakepaw's startled Mia snaps her back to the present, realizing the horrified look on the once trusting apprentice's face. Briar tries to blurt out an excuse, but Snakepaw's fury has already got the best of him. He attacks her without mercy, but something makes him stop before he can finish her. He stumbles off her numbly, picking up Rosepaw's body and beginning to drag it back towards camp. Some time passes before a mottled gray and brown she-cat slips out of the bushes, coming to stand before Briar with a terrified expression. Briar purrs, finding it fitting that her surviving kit might save her life after all. But Fierce reacts horribly, calling her a heartless killer. She treats her mother with a furious coldness before leaving her to die alone on the forest floor. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this scripted backstory ramble about one of my main villain characters. I'm curious to hear what you think of Briar. Do you think her actions were justified? Do you feel sorry for her? What could she have done different to become a better character? Are there any characters that I mentioned here that you would like to know more about? Mention them in the comments. Also, be sure to check the description of this video for character credits, as not all of the characters mentioned here are mine. If you haven't yet, be sure to check out the PMV that I did featuring Briar.